gonna call you Mr. Template. What's up? I'm gonna call you Mr. Template. What? Look at these things, dude. That's what you gotta it do. It makes all the difference though, doesn't it? Yeah, you gotta make templates. Well, I mean, if you make templates, then production goes faster. Template. Looking good. It's a rough template, but at least it gives us a shape so we can lay out our boards. We can cut them all at once and then they'll all get scribed in order. Okay. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oculus, dude. Tell them what's going on. Well, we just are short again. It just gobbles up so much material. Show them how short we are, though. We are short two pieces of the front, half round. And that is it. We made a template, and you know this is going to really finish up the front round. This is, of course, where the oven goes, or the stove, and um, that's it. And then, of course, once we get that on there. Then we'll just come back with our template, lay that guy on there, trace her out. You can see how much faster that'll go. Line that out, put it on the bandsaw, cut it, shape it, and uh, then we're done. With the floor at least. Then we have to fasten it to steel, which will be, you know, not sure what's going to be the best way to do that one other than maybe drill through the bottom into the well we can drill through the bottom you know or we could liquid nail it make it one whole unit liquid nail it to the bottom of the floor and um, you know make it a floating floor okay and let it kind of move we drill it from underneath um, you know it's like that'll work but they're individual tongue and groove boards mm. you know these boards are going to move it's a floor yeah. it's just going to go and um you know, we may be able to put a mutton or some sort of hold down around the perimeter, uh -huh. you know, that'll keep keep that keyed in. We can pin it through the front of the fascia board, you know, but I, I don't know if I like putting nails in like that. Uh, but we're short, man. All right. 